Hello, and welcome back to another episode of The Book Reviewer with your host, Cindy. And I have, a, I have a series in review for you guys today. So, if you guys have been watching my book reviews and videos for a, while, a few weeks, um, I meant to say a while, but it's only been a few weeks, um, then you know I have been working on a series called 43 Old Cemetery Road by Kate Cleese. And these consist of the four books. Number one was titled Dying to Meet You. Number two was titled Over My Dead Body. Number three is Till Death Do Us Bark. And number four was The Phantom of the Post Office. So, um, those four books, it's a little mini-series, um, but I can appreciate it as a series. Um, so I have finished all four books. All four books have gotten reviews as of right now. Um, so here's where I eject my comments, thoughts, feelings about the author and the series as a whole. Um, because at the book reviewer, that's what we do. We review books. We tell you our thoughts. And we tell you if we recommend something or not. Of, of course, that's, that's the goal. Um, so, um, the series starts out with um, a man that chooses to rent a house for the summer. And he chooses 43... Oh, Old Cemetery Road um, as one that he would like to rent so that he can I believe it's write a book he is an acclaimed author so he has the money to do so and um, well he would have had money um, it is found out through book one that he hadn't written anything in years and he he needed to have the money to he needed to write to get the money that he wanted or needed um but i suppose to think he was in his 60s so maybe retirement would have kicked in i'm not sure but um anyway it's revealed in the book that he hadn't written for a long time and he had um his agent, I think, had signed, like, the lease and everything so that it was totally legal and binding that he could occupy this house for the summer. And unbeknownst to him, he also um, gains an 11-year-old child that's living in this house because his parents went to another country for their work. They're university professors. They do, I guess, speaking engagements and things. And they left him behind. And so, that's going on. And now this guy, who's an author, he um, decides to live at this 43 Old Cemetery Road. And it's, it's interesting to see the dynamic between the... I'm not going to say elderly, but um, the the generational gap, I guess you could say. Because on the one hand, you have an 11-year-old, and then you have this 50 or 60-year-old man who never really wanted children. Um, so how they interact is interesting. Um, from a man that may not have had kids, might not have been around kids for a while, um, just to see how things work out. Um, I thought that was interesting. So, um, in book two, um, it's, it's pretty interesting. We get to meet, um, Olive Spence, who's a ghost. And I think they were threatening to split up the family. And, um, it's interesting how things work out. Um, so... Um, number three 
um, was a great book. It was about how Spencer um, finds this dog um, that nobody knows um, whose it is. Um, it was the owner had passed away and he said Seymour the 11 year old child says well he's not he's not an owner that's living anymore so can I keep him <laughs> type thing um, number four was really interesting um, it actually shows us uh, potential relationships um, that might go beyond the grave um, for those that believe in ghosts and the paranormal and stuff like that I think you guys would really enjoy it um, those kind of things can and do happen I've seen some documentaries and stuff about the paranormal and how things can't be explained and how um, things happen without people even realizing maybe that it's happening until they catch it on video. Um, I've seen that happen. So all in all, this uh, is a great series. Um, it was a pretty good series. I found out Kate Cleese is a young adult writer. So the trial by journal book that I reviewed and this 43 Old Cemetery Road series is geared toward 8 to 12 year old kids although you know as I say in almost all my videos that anyone can read these books as long as they're capable of you know understanding what's going on um, so would I recommend the series? Absolutely. Um, I think some children might have a little bit of a time with the ghost kind of part of it, but that's where parents step in and they say, oh, this is just fiction, this is just imagination, this is just whatever, and whatever you believe is fine too. So, um, whether or not you believe in ghosts, whether what you choose to tell your kids is is all you. Um, so I will put a playlist in the video description below and it will have a playlist of all the Kate Cleese 43 Old Cemetery Road reviews that I have done um, including this review as well. Um, this is turning out to be a little bit longer video which is fine. Um, would I read this series again? Absolutely. Um, if I ever came across it again, I'd be like, oh, I remember this one. This is awesome. I should probably, you know, read it to any child that I had in my life, whether it's a niece, a nephew, a cousin, something like that. So, uh -huh. I'll put information in the description below. Thanks for watching, you guys. Thanks for subscribing. Keep reading. Don't stop believing. And we will see you again soon. Goodbye, guys.